Sonic Heroes No! It has nothing good about it. it there's no yeah. like good connotations about yeah, it. Yeah, and the, the image that it conjures I, up too. It's not... Yeah, of course. Well, because no one's ever like, oh, awesome, Smegma. <laughs> no. Why would I lie about the existence of Skimble Shanks and Mungo Jerry? <laughs> Rumble Shanks. No, R Rumple Teaser, Rum Tum Tugger, <laughs> Skimble Shanks, and Mungo Jerry. And old Deuteronomy. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't I don't feel like you're taking this 100% seriously, and I'm a little offended. Wait, can I? Is this a different track over this way? No, it's not. Fuck, <laughs> what am I supposed to do, man? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, this, no, This is starting no. to feel familiar. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Mommy Milkers. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Sonic Heroes. Uh, that, uh, Aaron asked me to sing that, but that was his joke. So, full credit to you, Aaron. I guess, you know, it's fine. You can have Although that Although you, you, you sang it in the Obama voice, yeah. which made it... Another level of great. Jesus. Oh my god, I wish I was dead already. And mommy <laughs> like Milkers, big fucking tits. And then applause. <laughs> <laughs> More applause. I can't wait yeah, well, for well, uh, Resident Evil 8. I didn't much care for the other <laughs> Resident Evils, but uh, something about 8 really, really uh, got me excited. What, uh, what, what was your rhyme? Uh, like, I'll, I'll I'll put up with something if I. Oh can. oh yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Resident Evil uh, scares me out of my wits, but uh, Resident Evil Eight's got big fucking tits. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the best comedians I've ever known, <laughs> and I I will say no. <laughs> what even was? You saw that. That was. I did. That was. I a, did. That was a joke. I did see that. I don't think you have any more lives though. So please, don't. No, I do that I do. again, game. And you I, do? I have like six lives. Like we're good. What? Yeah. The, the, for some reason, this playthrough just like is very, very generous with the lives. That's wonderful. Yeah. Like the, this specific, the Chaotix team? I think so. I mean, maybe I just earned them in the early game, but I think the game just gives them to me. Here. Yeah. Okay, take it nice and easy. Nice and slow. Yeah. Get easy! What did you think of easy? Should I? What is in here? Oh, it's just a bubble. Um, Who cares? Cool. Also, uh, yay. Don't, uh, no spoilers, and we won't say anything beyond this. I just wanted to let you know that I watched the second-to-last Harry Potter movie last night. And, uh, no! And goodness me, uh, it's not the, it's not the fun, class-to-class, -class Quidditch, happy bundle of sandwichy joy that the, uh, first couple of movies are. Nah. <laughs> that shit gets very real. Yeah, hence the name Deathly Hollows. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I suppose you're right. But uh, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> anytime you're in the air and I see you shifting <laughs> from dude, it's yeah, it's like it's like landing the plane in the Top Gun NES game. Like it's just it's <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like trying to refuel a jet in midair. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah. Um, so I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a full rundown, um, when we talk after I see the final movie, but, uh, I'm loving them. Oh. One, what the fuck? Uh, 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 what the fuck? You what know? What was that? Uh, what? Like, really? What was that? Just fucking zapped into the ground! Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, um, it's like that Far Side cartoon where God is at his computer and he has a smite button. And he's just like... Oh. You got smoted. Oh. Okay. I'll take the lead. 
You're in, yeah, you're in a surprisingly good mood considering this game is shafting you left and right. Uh, well, you know, I got I got a I got an Obama voice in my heart. You sure do, my man. Uh, uh -huh. be a great game, I think. I don't Excellent. Know, I don't know what uh, makes me think that, but uh, Resident Evil 8. I'll look out for that one. <laughs> Resident Evil 8, the uh, 16th student, hit it in, uh, somewhere in the school. Look out for it. What? Watch out for it. Sorry. Isn't that what they say in Danganronpa? Oh, oh. Mukuro Ikosaba, the 16th student, hidden somewhere in this school. That's right, yeah. Watch out for it. Yeah, the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair, that's right, Dan. Dog, I paid attention through that shit. I mean, we played it for four months. Do I have to take out this robot now? Is that what's going on here? Hip! <laughs> Hip! Okay. Oh, I have to kill that one, too. That was the answer the whole time? Oh my god. Oh, such a fucking douche. Alright, take it nice and slow. Who even wants to hang Super out with careful. me, dude? This is fucking ridiculous. What a what a waste of everyone's time to see all that I'll shit. Hang. Realize I'll hang out with you. That was well, thank you. I appreciate that. But I know it's a pity hang, so. It's not a pity hang. Uh, well, I say that, but It's gonna turn into a pity hang if you keep calling that. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, that's just a self-fulfilling prophecy, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's how it goes, man. When someone's like, you don't really want to hang out with me, I was like, well, yeah, now, now I, I don't. don't. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You, it, it was cool, but you fucking made it weird. Yeah. The Yeah, that's, that, that's the am I bothering you conundrum. Like, <laughs> yeah. Am I bothering you? It's like, now you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you. You weren't. Oh my god! Aaron. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Watching you like approach it at two miles an hour. Like, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, I was just, just, just looking around like fucking hyper vigilance. Like, this game is giving me like some form of like clinical anxiety. Of course. <laughs> oh god. Oh, E, I don't care. You know what? Do I really care about what grade I get? Nah. <laughs> nah Smash cut to every time I'm like, ooh, S, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> Susie! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Bring me my <laughs> celebratory baby foon spoon. <laughs> baby foon spoon? Yeah. The color changing spoon. <laughs> I, I think I told you, um, uh, two very, uh, kind-hearted fans named Pat and Kay sent me um, all 50 issues of Darkhawk, my favorite Marvel superhero. Whoops, welcome to this level. Um, and my God, dude, they're all from the early 90s. Those, like, the advertisements are like fucking time capsules. Yeah. It, was that the, it's was so that the gross out era of advertising? No. Okay. Um, it was before all that. Where everything's um, like, like Screw your mom, eat snot, and like shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was most certainly not that. Just shit like um, that. But but it's it's actually very like charmingly innocent and like whoa turtles in time, you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, and there's a lot of like <coughs> excuse me. There's a lot of like historical stuff that's interesting where. Um, you know, it's like, uh, meet Jack and Sally uh, from A Nightmare Before Christmas in theaters this fall. And you're like, whoa, can't believe that was ever the case. Yeah, I remember um, seeing a trailer, like a commercial for it. I remember, like, for some reason, I just, I remember seeing Lock, Stock, and Barrel on the TV. And, yes. Uh, and, and, like, exactly where I was in, like, this weird house. I don't even remember what house that was, like. I wouldn't even know how to ask my parents because I'm like, it was a house and it was like kind of small and it was like, it was like. Did you just say like I don't? I know exactly where I was, but I don't know where I was. Well, 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 well uh, what I mean is like I can remember what it looked like. Oh, but you don't know what what actual house it was. Yeah, I, I don't know whose house it was or like where it was. 
But right. I definitely remember like, what the room looked like. Yeah, it, it's it's fascinating, man. And um, what made me bring that up? Oh, now I remember. You just see all those cool like '90s toys and things that you clearly forgot ever existed. And there was this pen, like uh, it was a type of pen they were selling it because you know they they know it's mostly like. 13 or 14 year old kids that are reading that. So wait, there's wait, a lot wait. of like Was it the spy pen? Uh I don't think so. Okay. It was it was a pen along the lines of those hyper colored t-shirts um that would change color if like according to body heat. So if you press your hand on it, it would be that spot would be turn a different color for a little while. Um but it, it was it was pens like that they were marketing to like students for school. But like you hold them and as you hold them and like the sweat from your hand changes the color of the pen. And I was like, whoa, I fucking want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's man, like, we got the coolest toys back then. It's like offer available until August of 1994, but shit. <laughs> That's, yeah. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, man. I like. There's so many old toys and stuff. There's this. Uh, I think I mentioned it before, but there's there's this YouTuber, um, Billiam, that like reviews like old '90s and like early 2000s like electronic toys. Mm -hmm. and some of them are so fucking cool. Some of them are so lame. But <laughs> it's it's like yeah, I miss that era. And and like, you know, every every era has its strength. And and like I go to the I, you know I'll go to the Target or whatever, and look at the toy aisle, and I'm like, "Whoa, man! If I had these when I was a kid, that'd be fucking dope." But sure. But also, like, I look at some of the old stuff that I didn't ever get, and I'm like, oh, "This is sick." Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was, man. Like, I mean, I guess it's just that time in your life when you would buy toys and actually play with them, you know, like. If I were to buy toys now, they would just go on a shelf and be like museum style, like, look at the toys I own, you know? And that doesn't really appeal to me as much as the 64 person wrestling tournaments that I would have with my action figures uh, when I was a kid, you know? Yeah. I still. Oh, motherfucker. Whoops. I, uh. Wait, I'm collecting something? Oh, God, I'm collecting something. Oh no. I don't know what I'm collecting. Well, you gotta look at that, man. Because God knows I'm checked out. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say it? Well, it did at the beginning, but you can't check it later. Wait, Vey. Um, I still try to play with I... my toys. Um, that might sound juvenile, but hear me out. I, uh. No, I'd... I'm cool with it. Because, like, I don't know. When you get older. It's like obviously like the, I don't know, the, the sense of that you're like doing something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's like there's like some humility there or something. I don't know what it is. Like shame of doing something like that. But like, A, I don't feel that. And B, what I like to do with figures, because they're usually like. It's those, dude. It's those that, that you just busted. Oh, That's where you should destroy. shit. I've missed a bunch of them. It'll loop you around. Yeah. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're usually, shame, the shame of playing with toys as a grown man. Yeah, but they're, they're usually action figures from, like, you know, franchises I like and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll try to make myself laugh with, like, scenarios with them. Mm-hmm. And I'll just, like, you know, if I get, like, a Goku figure, then I'll, like, pull out a Vegeta figure and I'll just... I'm Goku, and I'm fucking here to save Frieza! And Vegeta's like, hold on, Goku. You know, like... I'll just do like a little improv sketch, basically. Right. That's how I view it. And then, and then once I make myself laugh, I'm like, all right, <laughs> hell yeah, <laughs> fucking did it. <laughs> Maybe you can make videos like that, like for, for 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 your talk tech or whatever. Yeah. You do. I've thought about that, but you know, there's 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 so much. For fuck's sake, man! Can you really just can you not do that? Can you not fucking <laughs> swing the camera around when I'm like riding on this very specific tiny rail that needs like the most fucking accurate aim of all time? 
and just like, oh, whoa, whoa, looks like it, oh, whoopsie doodle. <laughs> the camera just 360, dude, whoa. And it's like, I can't even see the fucking rail. It's pretty rough, pretty rough. I can't lie. But anyway, there's, there's stuff like that where so much of what I do and so much of like the humor that I come up with, this is already busted, right? Now. Um, yeah. Is, is out there, you know? Maybe it's a tweet or maybe it's a, uh, on the Game Grumps or, you know, it's something I wrote for like a live show or, or whatever. But, um, you know, there's, there's little things that I have to like keep for me. Like when I, when I make everything like a form of entertainment for the internet, it, then I'm like, it's a slippery oh, slope. Oh, of course, I dude. Think, to just like not have any fun in your waking life. Like yeah. not value anything. <laughs> yeah. Because that, that, for there was definitely a moment in my life where that was the case, and I was just like, oh, "How do I turn this into content?" You know? Um, sure. And I never allowed myself to just like have a good time with things. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a natural thing a lot of people run into when they're starting and building an audience and building a career. And, um, but you're in a, a nice position where you already have one, you know, so. You can start to take a step back and be like, you know what? I'm going to actually live a little bit of uh, life for myself mm -hmm. in this very limited amount of time I have on Earth. And there is n nothing wrong with that, dude. Um, yes, exactly. And also, like, um, based on the way that, like, algorithms have come to work, 2021 mm -hmm. um, it actually doesn't behoove you to like do something different than what you're already doing mm. it's very it's Is very right? singular yeah because if you if you just do one thing the, the algorithm is like any any algorithm social media or youtube or whatever um is is much better at like delivering your content to an audience so really yeah like i i've been told early on in the algorithm days that uh, um, to treat your... You can use a Team Blast, dude, if you want. That's cool. Okay. Um, to treat your YouTube channel in instead of, like, the place that people view your con your content, more like a, uh, a Netflix channel, uh, uh, show page. Like, you go hmm. to, you know, you go to TNG and it's episodes of TNG, you know. Um, yeah. And that's that's the algorithm knows best what to do with that kind of content because it's like okay, I know exactly what kind of content this is before you even release it, so I know who to deliver it to in the right way, um, in the most like efficient way, and that's how your your content can uh, spread farther, right? Um, and and as time has gone on, those algorithms have gotten better and better at doing that. So like. You know, in 2021, they're amazing. Um, so if you if you veer off and do something remotely different than what you usually do, uh, mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, uh, uh, who do I deli I'll deliver it to the same people? And it's like, well, the same people don't want to watch this. You know, other kinds of people want to watch this. And, it, and then it has to, like, find who those people are. And then it gets confused when you start making the same content that you used to again, you know? So it's like, if you stick to one thing, then it's more efficient. Um, yeah. So if you ever want to, like... Um, I actually gave this advice recently to someone who, who was, did card games that weren't Pokemon, but saw that, like, Pokemon was becoming huge. Um, Popping. Yeah. yeah. And and they were like, oh, you know, why is Pokemon becoming huge? And, like, I do Pokemon videos, and then, like, they don't perform. I was like, well, it's because people watch you for the other card game. Like, you're like the guy to go to for the this other card game, and mm. you know, people don't want to see you do Pokemon. They want to see people who already do Pokemon do Pokemon. Um, that's it. <laughs> oh my god, that doesn't look like a fun thing to fall into. How um, how do you get these insights, man? How do you know this stuff? Um, well, I. <laughs> You know, we do our we do our own research with uh, you know, with the channel, but also I, I talk to a lot of people, mm. a lot of people that specialize in this. Right. They they, they do their own research on their own. Um, 
And uh, to, you know, to be perfectly candid, um, I don't know if I, I don't know why I would feel uncomfortable sharing this, but um, Rump Out has been our experiment channel. Um, that, right. That, because it's it's to um, <laughs> kind of like concentrate on not dying on these rails. Um, yeah. Uh, to lean into its uh, its its mantra from the very beginning, it's who who fucking cares. It's still on the banner to this day. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, it's a grump out. Who fucking cares? Um, uh, we were like, okay, well, if, if who fucking cares, then why don't we just do whatever the fuck and just see right. how it works? And then, you know, if, if it works better one way or another way, then, you know, we'll, we'll learn something. Um, mm -hmm. so it's like, you know, it's not Game Grumps where it's like, you know, it's very... The same people watch every day and everything. This is Grump Out. It's just like it's little clips that'll show up in your feed or, or not or, you know, certain types of clips that people like or you know, certain... If it's a funny clip or if it's like a like rage clip or like an insightful clip, you know, it's like... It's like not a whole lot of consistency there, so right. Let's experiment with like where these are delivered, and so that that's that's Trump out is experiment channel. So that I've done a we, we've done a lot of research using that channel, um, which has been fun, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, well, you love stuff like that. You, it's interesting. You hate math, and yet you love problem solving that's along the lines of you know that, that, really yeah, well, maybe i was thinking of myself okay <laughs> I, I was um, i was always really good at math in school oh cool well yeah you, you you do love that scientific problem solving kind of thing whoops you missed one i did barely gave me any time to see it but it's fine yeah i mean of course it's only crucial <laughs> Oops. That's okay. I died. Now I can do it again. Oh shit! I ran out of lives. Wow, <laughs> fun. Oh, love God. it. Well, at least I can start from the beginning, knowing what to do. Uh, oh, it's fun. Sonic Heroes. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's, it's, it's just some fun about like because you'd bad in it. <laughs> well, that's why. That's that's that, that's that's the thing about Game Grumps that that. When we learn stuff, we apply it to Game Grumps, right? You know, people have noticed, like, some thumbnails change, and the way we title videos and stuff change, and it's, it's just it's because of, like, what we've learned through doing research with other shit. Um, right. And, and for the most part, it works. And then if it doesn't, then it's like, okay, we'll figure something else out. Um, but, like, the reason I'm okay with that is I think a lot of people are like, well, that's annoying. Um... And like, yeah, sure, it's it's annoying for some people, but the the reason I'm okay with that is because the show's never changed. Like, a a right. actually, what the show is, I've, we've never been like, okay, well, we're gonna try something different with the show now, and you know, and then it's like, you, oh, oh you this game grumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. this isn't the show I watch. Like, this sucks. You know, like, why did they change the show? Like, I'm, I would never, I never want to touch the show. You know. Right. Um, but like everything around it, whatever it is, like, yeah, I'll, but why not? Like, you could always be doing some aspect of like the, that end better. Um, yeah, it's interesting because I'm sure some people would consider, you know, doing new types of thumbnails and uh, different types of length of episodes and stuff like that upload schedules like they, they would consider that changing the show but but you're talking about like the, the creative part of it yeah i mean it's just you and me shooting the shit playing a video game you know like yeah yeah it's, it's never changed like how there's like a couple times in the past where i think we might have like experimented with like a different format or like like starting the show with like a premise or that's like that was like really rare it never seemed to really jive, um, right? So it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to ever change the show. The thing that people like, they watch, can rely on, they know is yeah. always going to be there every day when we upload. Um, I don't want to change that at all. Nah, it's too much fun. And, and, and yeah, and it's funny because too. 
pe people talk about different eras of the show and um and how like it's different than it used to be but i i, I think it's certainly never been different in our approach i i think um I think it's just that we changed. Like, there's no way you're going to be the same person you were seven years ago. Yeah. Like, you just, you just can't be. Um, and uh, one isn't necessarily worse or better than the other. It's just, it's just different. You, you, you grow up. It's just different. Yeah. We, we're, we are, we're constant states of change as human beings. I love change. You get older, you like change better. No, well, isn't that a cliche that you don't like change when you get older? <laughs> I don't know. I, it, it, I'm at peace with it now. It, one of my favorite Rush lyrics ever is, constant change is here to stay. Yeah. And I think that's so, it's so simple and it's so deep and brilliant. Like, the one thing you can count on is that everything is going to change. Yeah, what's the, What what is it? The only certainty is uncertainty. Yeah, yeah. And, th and that's why, and that's always been tough for me because that's what OCD struggles with the most, uncertainty. Like, sometimes, sometimes shit's horrible, um, and it doesn't feel as bad as when it's just all up in the air. You know what I mean? It's it, like if you have OCD, you'd almost rather be in hell than in limbo, like that kind yeah. of thing. Um, but yeah, it, it's you get older and you just become at peace with stuff like that, or or not. I mean, but I, I think it's important to try to find your peace with that because it's not going to change anyway. Yeah. Ironically. The, the fact that everything changes is the one thing that will not change. Well, I remember that. Yeah, this is fun. This um, isn't a roller coaster ride. This is death by falling off a cliff. Yeah. This isn't a roller coaster ride. This is hell on earth. Wait, this isn't tennis. This is anal sex. <laughs> I, I can't remember what that's from. <laughs> it's just one of the memes. Um. Uh, yeah, it's like, it, when you get older, it's, uh, it, it, it's like you, you have more experience to know, like, so much of the shit that was stressful was, like, doesn't amount to anything, you know, like, yeah, I remember things being so important in school, and, like, I know, I knew so much, and it's like, oh, no, none of that mattered, none of, zero percent of that mattered, like, I already had yeah. made my friends, they're still friends to this day. Like, all that shit where I was like, Oh, I hope th this person likes me. Oh, no, I'm going to be the laughing stock. It's like, nobody gives a shit. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. At the at the end of the day, like, 95% of it is just name calling. Yeah. And you're just like, well, all right, I've been called names before. I can, I can handle this. Especially because so much of that era is, like, formative, too. Where, where like... Use that time to do cool things, you know, like things that are creative or fun as opposed to like stressful and like socially awkward. Um, yeah. Because I, you know, I think of, what was it? My brother sent me a video of uh, like No Doubt before they like had a label or something. They were mm -hmm. just like performing for their school. You know, it's, it's just like a, like a, like a tiny teenage Gwen Stefani and she's just like jumping around on stage and like... No, it's like obviously she's like less experienced than now. Like she was to fuck it. It was like wow, yeah, that's like a young Gwen Stefani, like unrefined, still very talented. Um, and it was like, man, if I was fucking like working on a band back then, like yeah, shit, yeah, I'd be fucking killing it by now, you know? Yeah, I watched her break her ankle at a show. Wow. I've to, I, I'm sure I've told that story. It's not really much of a story. I, I saw No Doubt open for 311 at the Asbury Park Convention Hall in New Jersey in 1996. And it was, uh, the moshing was way too intense. Uh, I got my ass kicked um, by skater kids. Uh, but she, like, yeah, she was a bundle of energy on stage. 
and she jumped off of like a speaker. She climbed one of like the, uh, dang it. She climbed one of like the speaker cabinets and took a flying leap. And you could just see like right away, like just the way she landed wasn't quite right. And she did like a little hop. And um, and to her credit, she finished the show. Like oh, they did yeah. six more songs, but she like couldn't couldn't put any weight on it. And she, it was uh, it was I, I was impressed. The audience appreciated it too because they were very high. And, uh, <laughs> and oh yeah, and, in a three eleven yeah. concert, no doubt. I <laughs> get it right. <laughs> I, I do nice, get it. dude. You gonna self high five over there? Yeah, dude, I got I gotta give myself props for that. That was pretty good. A little self ten. Come on, that was good. And it was great. <laughs> well, like you get it, even... right? Oh, I got it. I got it. It was three eleven, no doubt, and Shooty's Groove, I believe. <laughs> oh, I should have made a Shooty's Groove thing then too. I missed out. It's okay. It's okay. It was... the, the... Damn, I'm gonna I'm gonna, of, I'm gonna go home and tell my wife about that. <laughs> there was a lot of huge pants at that show. That's what I remember the most. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking Jinko jeans, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 1996 was right around the time when pants were starting to get enormous. <laughs> man, I used to be like, oh man, I, I wish I could afford a pair of Jinkos. <laughs> and now I'm like, I don't wish that I could afford a pair of Jinkos when I was a kid. What's Happy. that Dennis Leary thing? Like, they, they start at my neck and go 20 feet straight out. <laughs> <laughs> so true, man. God, those were cute. People would be living under my pants. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they were monstrous. The, the, they really hit a peak, I feel like, around 2000. That, that was when I would see uh, people wearing pants that essentially, they looked like a skirt that had been sliced down the center. <laughs> And it was a denim, just all denim. <laughs> denim, denim, denim. <laughs> oh, did you do something? Is this farther? Mm, well, I've already been here, but. Dang it! All right, well. You know, it is uh, just about that time. For the next time. For the next time. But I haven't even done any progress on this episode, man. I know that's that's the problem. That's that's where I was kind of going with that. Uh, you want to try to make a little progress? Yeah, if I can get just a little bit for just a little. A little bit further. One little bit progress. Just one you, little further. Don't hit the trains or the thing. Okay. Oh, fucking. Oh. You gotta be butt fucking me, man. This is ridiculous. There, there can't be. If, if they're on this stage, if there's not more than 30, like, seriously, like, there's no way. There's no way I would have hit those can you, on the first can you, try. Can you not get out of the thing and just bash them yourself? No. I don't think yeah. so. Barf. Ah, <laughs> barf. Okay. This fucking game. There's only four left, only, right? Like only four. You just passed them. There's gotta be more down here. Or is this the fucking mm. start of the stage again? Oh, oh, it's another checkpoint. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, I'm feeling like maybe there, I could do this. Maybe I could do. Th All right. We did get farther. Okay. So I'm. I'm. I feel okay doing next time on Game Crops. Okay. But you dang well. How do you get through here? Ah. Um. No. <laughs> Let's go. I'll take a leak. Can you can you actually travel backwards up the rail and try to destroy the stuff you missed? No. Here we go. No, I, I don't think I can go back that far, but I feel like maybe I can go back. There was a split in the road. Boom. Whoa! Oh, oh I see. Oh, it shoots it back down. down man. How do you do this then? Oh, oh, oh can you hit, I know. Can can you hit the trigger through the lane? Inviso! Uh, SBO can do it. Well done. Yeah, all right. Next time on Game Grumps. Okay. See you then, everybody. Goodbye, Roddy Roddy Piper. Just in peace. We miss you. Miss you dearly. I love Rowdy Roddy. I know. He was great and always sunny. Okay. Yeah, it's just, you know. Just pure agony. Nice. Nice.